Hi ho your heads, hi everyone. The hook is off and this is the up close side view of this monstrous Hoya sunrise I have. And as per most belief, including my friends' opinions, this is the biggest specimen of Hoya sunrise they have ever seen on YouTube. There might be many more out there, I'm sure. But I'm humbly honored to receive all your lovely compliments. A small recap. This was an up pot I did where I added more media to the already existing specimen, promoting it to a larger pot without removing the existing media from the root bulb. That gives more room without hindering any part of the root or its media. That's what's called an up pot. Now let's see how it's doing. I'll first give you an all around side view of how this is doing. And you can see that there is a lot of sun stressing new wines that says that new wines can sun stress the easiest why is that because the new wines and leaves are very dainty the sun can stress them very easily because of that softness in them and from looking from all the edges where the new coconut husk was added you can see that everything is attached okay. and almost filled up from all around again I cannot see the rim of the pot much it's been two months since I've done this up potting and I cannot say there's anything wrong it's doing very well and it's thriving it's always blooming no leaf drops from the wine that I reattached to the media if you remember that's where the pebbles are because I needed more weight. I'm sure some pebbles were dropped when they roll, roll down. And uh, I'll show you the wine. This is it. This is the wine which was dehydrated. It's in two parts and it was hanging from a thread of a root from the rim of the pot and when I tried to remove a uh, part of the wine I accidentally took off that existing root also so therefore this had to go through an even bigger dehydration to root itself because it was already severely dehydrated if you remember the leaves looked exactly like an obscura on that vine and because of that it was so heavy at the rim it has broken off now it's fully rehydrated and it's doing better than ever okay so there was no loss in this up pot. I actually did not see any leaf drops because I did not find any on the grass during my morning walks. I was looking for all those clues to see if this is suffering from any type of dehydration or 
any kind of issue because of uh, low water or nutrition but it wasn't those are the clues which I go for because this is hanging high above me it's actually hanging over six feet above me because this vine is more than six feet long this is a frequent bloomer I have never seen a day without a flower these peduncles are all face active and now I'll show you something else you might have already seen that there are aphids okay. and there are some mealybugs also which I can manually remove which are found at the edge of these vines or on peduncles that are about to bloom they are pure white in color so easily detectable Aphids do not harm your plant, but mealybugs does. That's why we are so very strong about removing mealybugs or keeping them away from mealybugs. But to me, aphids also are a problem when it comes to the aesthetics of my hoyas and if this gets any pest issue because this is hanging so before the other specimens of my hoyas all my other hoyas also will attract this aphid problem so for some time you saw I did not have any aphids but I found one or two again on one leaflet like this in one of my other hoyas uh, there are few which are aphid magnets so I will be removing them though they are unharmful solely because of the aesthetic problems I will be spraying them off I have my neem oil and dishwash spray and I'll just be spreading them all around and let the sun drop them off and the rain especially so this type of manual spraying is okay right I will be checking the undersides of my vines also but mealybug remnants are easily detectable for the heck of it I will just spray because what I found from the bottom leaves was that some of them were trying to bloom because there are a thousands of peduncles in this that's a remnant of a mealybug but because of the mealybugs the buds were falling or they were kind of mutated you can see how it's always budding up right so there is never a rest for this Hoya Sunrise, I do not spray any bloom boosters. I'll show you. Look at this seed pod. These are natural. In my Hoya Sunrise, this is always happening. These are always there. And they pop off. And the tailor birds and the other tiny birds I have you have seen them they take that seed pod off because they are very weightless and cotton like so those uh, 
seeds are very comfortable for their nests and that's about it so my sunrise is doing fine there is no problem okay i have sprayed everywhere where i can find aphids and if you do a second spray they will fall off also but i'm not going to touch any of it and remove them manually which you can also do because uh, one drain would drop them all off because they are dead now and uh, since these are living outside this is the type of precaution i would get i would dip it in the bud uh so this will not es- escalate but aphids do not tend to stick around i think uh, when i eliminated them last time it was 4 months ago or 5 months ago and i did not see any aphids again but if this has pest problems this will surely give it to my other hoias so i will be removing all of them now right guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed my specimen thank you for all your lovely compliments and questions if i do not see questions and if i do not reply you please drop a comment somewhere else and direct me to the video because sometimes i do not get all the notifications on youtube uh, i think that's common to many youtubers um Thank you all for watching. I love you all. Have a great weekend. It's Saturday morning here in Sri Lanka. And I'm quite relaxed. Bye-bye.